enough because look look at this beauty for crying out loud <sighs> because are you, are you dumb are you mad Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If it's your first time here, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I know that you want to see more videos from me, so just subscribe. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the clean girl makeup look. This makeup trend has been going around for a couple of months it's been trending so i decided to hop on it shout out to my girl aisha she inspired this so today i'm going to be showing you guys my own take on the clean girl makeup look this is basically a soft glam you're not doing too much you're not trying too hard you don't want to look like you have too much makeup on but of course you don't want to look like you're just rolling out of bed yeah so that's the vibe the clean girl makeup look gives and i'm also going to be telling you guys my sense for the day accessories all of that if you want to see how I achieve this clean girl makeup look then keep watching so guys today we're going to be doing the clean girl makeup tutorial this trend has been going around for a while now and uh, I love it <laughs> Let's just get right into this video. So I already have my hair out of the way. I feel the clean girl aesthetic is very minimal. Everything is just like minimal, not doing too much. I decided to do that with my hair also. I wanted to pack my hair in a slick bun, but then a slick low bun actually. But then I was just like, you know what? Let me just wear my straight hair. This like shoulder length bob. It's like a 14 inch bob. Yeah and we're basically going to be keeping everything simple our makeup i feel like within the years my makeup style has grown to be more minimalist and i don't like to do too much as opposed to before i feel like going for soft glam doesn't necessarily mean using like no products using very little product because some soft glam makeup looks they look very soft but then you don't know the ton of makeup that is on their face but then for this one we're going to be going for something very um soft yes but then at the same time i won't be using like too much products as opposed to what i would normally use when i'm going for a full glam i hope that makes sense so i'm going to start off with my eyebrows i, I want to go for a bit more definition i'm not going to be feeling it too much because i have brow hairs i'm also going to be concealing it this step is not necessary especially when you just get like a fresh trim on your brows this part is not necessary so i'll be using the beauty by ad brow this is basically their brow pencil i don't remember the name because it has rubbed off yeah it's very slim but before i do that i'm going to be using this brow gel just to like make my brows lie down this is a step i recently adopted <laughs> so i just took some yeah, I'm going to dip my spoolie in this and then make my brows. And another thing you can use for this step is soap. I know you guys, I haven't tried that, but then I've seen people do it. Basically the soap brows method. And I know that Pierre soap is one that people use. So yeah. So this is a brow tamer. It's just going to like help your brow hairs stay basically. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but yeah. This is a very good step, especially if you have oily skin like me, you always want to do this. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and make like very light hair-like strokes on my brows and then I'll conceal it.
so we're done with our brows guys my this brow didn't want to cooperate and <laughs> it still isn't cooperating but then we're just going to we're not going to waste time on her i'm going to be now be using my brow gel this is a brow gel from dot cosmetics and i'm just going to use this to make my brows look even more natural I'm just going to be putting a very little because it's not like we did so much with the brows this literally makes my brows look lighter especially um anytime that i do like a full glam but this is like a very natural glam so this it's almost like i don't even have brows now that our brows are done we're going to move on to skin work we're not doing any eyeshadow or anything like that um, I'm going to be doing something very simple on my eyes. You guys are going to see what I'm going to do. You always want to make sure that your face is moisturized. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. You always want to make sure your face is moisturized. So I'm going to move ahead to priming my face. I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Then for my T-zone area, I'm going to be using this Becca um, Ever Matte Pore Less Priming Perfecto. Basically the Becca primer, I'm going to be using that for my T-zone. It's not advisable to use a mattifying primer or mattifying setting spray while you're doing the clean girl makeup look. But then to be very honest, that's not realistic. Especially when you're from this part of the world, Nigeria. Nigeria is a very hot country. Currently the weather is very, very hot. And if you have oily skin, you can't be going to be using dewy, <laughs> dewy, primer dewy everything because honestly your face is just going to melt and you're not going to like how your makeup is looking primer for all over my face and i'll be using the becca for my t-zone this one says the classic primer is a very good dupe for this very good deep and that one is like i think one five or two five like it's actually it works like this one no jokes classic makeup i think we'll just turn this into a, like a deep <laughs> video i'll be telling you guys like dupes for stuff that you can get that classic primer i literally finished one tube of it you know when something is cheap you even mind how you're using it <laughs> and i was getting like the results i wanted from that primer so normally the next step will be to like conceal imperfections but honestly i don't really have a lot of those i just have like pimples here here i don't even know if you guys can see it but then i know my foundation will cover it so i don't need any extra layer of anything for foundation i'll be using the nars light reflecting foundation this is my favorite foundation from nars a very good dupe for this foundation is the beauty by ad lux skin foundation guys i don't even hear so many people talking about it the way this this foundation needs more publicity than it is getting i've literally reached like here of this foundation but because i shook it i was literally playing with the bottle so that's why it's looking full but then it is actually like halfway very 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 good but it's a bit more full coverage it's full coverage it's thick than this one um but then we're going for a soft glam clean girl makeup look like you like i said earlier on we're going for a soft glam so we're going to be using this foundation today this is two pumps This coverage is so light yeah i literally used two pumps the pumps of this foundation are not a lot so this is enough coverage from here for concealer i'll be using the Too Faced born this way concealer i won't be applying a lot i don't have eye bags or anything trust me i sleep enough i think i sleep more than i need even <laughs> and normally i'll leave this to dry down but i won't be doing that today because i'm not going for a full coverage look I'm using this beauty blender this beauty blender is so soft so good and it's from Zaron cosmetics
We have our concealer on, but I feel like my face looks a bit flat, so we're going to go ahead to, you know, do some contouring. Everything is going to be light. We're not doing too much. Don't forget, I'm using the ABH Cream Bronzer. This is what it looks like, and I'm using the shade Chestnut. A good dupe for this is the Juvia's Clay Stick Foundation or Black Opal Stick Foundation too. So. But this one is very creamy. I really love how it blends out. It blends out so nicely. Just bring some definition back to my face. When I contour this part, can you see the difference? This, 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 this. So now that we have blended all of this, the part I cannot miss, I feel like this is the part that makes the um, clean girl makeup look. I'm going in with a cream blush. This one is from Fora Cosmetics. It's literally 2000 naira, so I don't have deep for you people. <laughs> Why use your lipstick? <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this. What shade is this? This is just the orange one. It's shade 104 Sunflower. 104 sunflower that's the shade i'm using um i literally applied it here and the dabbing going so i'm applying my blush slowly between my contour or my bronzer and my under eye concealer just want everything to blend in together pretty Ooh. now that we're done with this I'm going to set my face. We're not going to be baking. I, I don't even bake anymore. I don't remember the last time that I baked. I'll be using the Mirac Cosmetics setting powder in the shade Curry. I'm using this brush, it's like a tapered highlight brush. I'm just going to be using it to set my under eye. And all the parts that I highlighted were setting. We're not baking. Don't forget. <laughs> everywhere that your concealer touched so I was like applying the powder and dusting off immediately now that we're done with setting our face I'm going to be going in with my bronzer yeah. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty bronzer in shade Mocha Mami a good dupe for this is there's the cover girl bronzer but apparently that one was discontinued and i don't know why like i've gotten that bronzer two times and both times it, it broke i don't know if it's a production thing or what but you can get the cover girl bronzer i believe some vendors still carry it or some websites and another good dupe is the zikel cosmetics um just their regular face powder you can just use like one of the darker shades that's a very good dupe yeah You don't need to contour your nose, you don't need to go all out, but me, I'm a very big nose contourer because we don't have slim nose here. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to contour my nose, but I'm not going to go overboard. I'll be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep. Yeah. This powder is so cool, so 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 like you literally see the difference when you apply it. <laughs> and I don't think I've noticed that with a lot of powders, but yeah, a good dip for this is the Milani powder. No going back. That powder is so good. So so good. And then an alternative for this is the MSF MAC no, sorry, the MAC Neuralize Skin Finish. That's another good powder. to our eyes now i'm not doing so i don't want to say i'm not doing too much but honestly i'm basically doing nothing to my eyes i'm just going to be using this shade this is the adventure cosmetics this is their rosy blush palette there's this shade here it's very dark i think you can even use it to contour so i'm just going to use that shade here you can also use your contour shade to do this just to 
give my eyes some oomph. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm so heavy handed to the point that I started adding more. I didn't even know when. I'm still doing it. Stop. Yeah. This is a look. -o. I think I want to do something. Hmm. Tell me not to. I will. I'm using the shade Kiss. Very little. Very little. I'm just going to apply it here. Can you see the difference? This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Just a little. Just like very little. Wow. This is fine. So at this point, you can go and go ahead and apply eyeliner. Next step is mascara. I'm going to be applying my mascara. I'm using the Zara Lengthening Mascara. And you can leave it this way or you can apply lashes. But you know, the clean girl makeup look very natural looking lashes, nothing too much. And I can get away with doing this, but I'm going to be applying lashes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got these lashes. This lashes i literally got them from a wig that i received yeah i got this wig from this brand and the lashes came in it and they're very natural looking so i'll be using them also applying mascara on my bottom lashes like i said you don't have to wear lashes you can just wear mascara and go but i'll be wearing lashes so so let me just wear my lashes and i'll be right back so guys i went ahead to do my highlighter also i didn't even realize i wasn't recording I'm sorry. So I used the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. It's a cream highlighter. I've really been into cream highlighters. This is what it looks like. And I used a beauty blender. I was literally just like dabbing on the parts that I would normally highlight. If you want to get like very natural looking lashes, I'll suggest Lady C or Ray in the Kyola Beauty line. Just send a DM and place an order. Please support my small business. Thank you. So now we're going to go ahead to basically set my whole face. And I'm using this, using this Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray Jasmine. This is my favorite, favorite setting spray. Now for my lips. I put on lip balm earlier on, so I just wiped that off of my lips. I'll be using the Debbie Luster Lip Pencil. This has been a fave for a while now. And then I'll be using my Clear Gloss. So this is what we're looking like. We're looking so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. Now that I'm done with this look, there's no way in hell that I am staying at home looking this beautiful. Because, are you, are you dumb? Are you mad? because look look at this beauty for crying out loud <sighs> i have to tell you guys my sense for the day i don't think any perfumes creams clean girl more than ysl libre so i have a libre but then we're going to be wearing libre intense today because why not You know how you go out and you're looking fine. I'm fine, I know it. Can nobody tell me nothing? Yeah, that's me right now. Yeah, I, I would have loved to do some, you know, little swoops, baby hairs, but nah. My earrings are from Sakiba Lux. We have a range of minimalist, beautiful earrings. If you just want to level up your look, you want to, you know, look like a big girl, rich auntie vibes, classy girl vibes, black girl living in luxury vibes, we have earrings for you. We have rings for you. Both rings are from Sakiba Lux. We have necklaces. We have beautiful jewelry for you. So if you want, after you've done your makeup, of course you can't be looking bare like that. You need accessories. You need lashes. You need lip gloss. Go to Kela Beauty.
thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two if you're going if you create this look and it was inspired by me please tag me on instagram i got you and please 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 don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you guys so much for the love on my last video even though i haven't been the most consistent thank you regardless um when i say last video i literally mean like the one of my february vlog in case that's not the last video you guys see before this one so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video I like it, I like it.